Welcome everyone to your 2021 New Year Glow Up reading consisted of three elements love money and self-care if you're ready for your glow up then you're in the right place lady, lady go hello everyone welcome back to my channel lace empress here where spirituality is our fashion statement today we are going to do 2021 readings for scorpio this will be your 2021 glow up new year reading we're going to do um love money and self-care but before we go ahead and get started thank you to all my subscribers and to and to those that are new please like share and subscribe now scorpios let's get into your reading while i was meditating on your energy i went ahead and pulled two cards for your overall energy one crystal and one acastic tarot deck the acastic tarot overall energy card is the eight of keys and this card represents being a leader and a teacher like sharing your expertise with the next person that is trying to come up behind you and learn and get some wisdom from you so it could be in a work environment if you have an idea of something that will make the workflow better or more efficient with less risk now's the time for you to try to implement that plan into your workflow maybe you need to connect with your superior your boss or your supervisor to make that happen but you need to present your idea because you will be well rewarded for sharing your knowledge and your wisdom also in a creative endeavor or if you want to become an entrepreneur now is the time for you to put yourself out there now it's time for you to allow yourself to receive the recognition that you deserve for all of your hard work also for the crystal this is called rainbow mananite and this crystal when i was reading about this crystal the first sentence said be a leader so that goes right along with the eight of keys now it's time for you to step into your higher self use your higher consciousness to get rid of anything that does not serve you or people that do not serve you to your highest good you need to let those things go and to walk away so that you will open up space for your higher consciousness to take over so that you can lead in the correct direction okay and you will be recognized for doing the things that you are doing in a positive way because being a leader is a lot of work and you have to teach others they want to learn your expertise and it, it can be a lot of pressure but scorpio's spirit is telling me that you can handle it and it's time for you to get your recognition for even accepting this challenge and doing the work necessary to be in this position to receive the title of a leader okay so scorpios y'all gotta be i know y'all ready to be this leader for 2021 because it's coming in fast and it's coming in strong and it's time for you to step up to the task okay so now I'm getting three cards for love, and then we're going to do three cards for finance and see where you guys will be headed for these things in 2021, okay? So your first card here that we have for love is financial and material changes. So that means when it comes to your love life, if you were not, I kind of get a feeling of not equally giving and receiving. Like maybe you were in a situation where someone was being unfair to you. Someone was being unfair to you and you were not getting what you deserve. So now those things are about to change. There's going to be more abundance in the future love relationship that you will receive. Yeah. There's going to be more abundance. There's going to be more giving and receiving. There's going to be more tangible things that you can see in a relationship as well. But also, there's also going to be more grounding of the relationship. There's going to be more 
um, loyalty, more stability of the mind for you to know that this person is here for you and only you. You don't have to worry about this person stepping outside or doing anything negative that will hurt the relationship. And they're going to give to you freely just as well as you're going to give back to them. That's what the financial and material changes are. It's just not physical money. It's also mental stimulation as well because you have transformation with changes. That means death of old things and rebirth of new. So what you're used to in a relationship is definitely not going to be what you're getting in 2021. You're going to get something better and that works with you, not against you. And your last one is Stand your ground. So in order for these things to come into your life, you can you just can't go for the same type of people you were going for in 2020 or before. You have to stand your ground. You have to actually you have to know what you want first so that you can manifest that in because with the financial and material changes, this is red, which is the um root or base chakra, and this calls for this is a representation of grounding and manifesting what you want in the physical sense. So you need to manifest the person that you want physically as far as what you want them to be like. Also, how do you want them to come to you? Do you want them to be wealthy? Do you want them to have a lot of money? Do you want them to have ambition to make money? Yes, those things are important in a relationship, but that is not all. You need to manifest dealing with the person for them being loyalty and wanting commitment. You have to be on the same page as the person. So in 2021, I believe this goes more into your manifestation. And once you manifest in 2021, you will receive that as well because there are going to be positive changes. So once you get that in your mind and you start, okay, this is the partner that I want. This is what I want. You're going to have positive changes. There's going to be a change in your mind, which that will call in this person that is coming into your life that you want for yourself. And you stand your ground by raising your standards. So don't just go for the things that you were going for when you were out there dating and dealing with other people. Now it's time for you to stand your ground and receive what your higher self wants for you. You're going to call in. <laughs> I almost wanted to say the perfect soulmate, but I know no one's perfect, but that's the energy that I'm getting across because you're coming across as this leader. So you know what you want. You have, you have in your mind, what you want. You're in your manifesting stage. You're going through your changes. You're healing, you're healing old wounds that need to be healed. And you're getting rid of things that no longer serve you and calling in those things that do. So applying that to your love life is almost as if it's saying, I'm going to find the one for me just as well as they will find me and give to you, Scorpio. I'm like talking in third person, but you guys understand. Um, with this transformation and stand your ground, I like these two cards together because it's a sense of change. So you're bringing in new, which is this is the new year. So you need to change from old to bring in new things. So you're doing things to your higher good, which is going to call in that soulmate that you want. Awesome, Scorpio. You calling in your soulmate. They're on their way. So you have to expect greatness just as well as they expect it from you. You expect it from them. But you do realize that nothing is perfect and you work together. But you stand your ground and make sure that your needs are met and that you give and receive together. Let's go over to your money section. Let's see what's going on here. Sacrifice. Hmm. <laughs> this is definitely a leader's read, okay? This is definitely a leader's read. You're taking the lead on this. You're taking the lead on everything. Even in your love life, you're taking the lead. You're taking the lead on your in your money. Sacrifice is definitely a characteristic that a leader has to have because sometimes you have to sacrifice self for the betterment of those that you are leading. 
Now, when it comes to money and this sacrifice, I believe that you may have to put money into yourself before others decide to do so. So you have to invest in yourself, especially if you're going to go the entrepreneur creative side. You have to invest in yourself before others look at you. And also, if you're going to go the business side, too, you're going to have to do some investment in self as far as putting the plans together first that may require you to buy another computer program that may require you to spend some money to make copies or to get out some digital information to everyone. And sacrifice is not just money, it's your time. You're going to have to work harder. You're going to have to maybe stay up a little later or get up a little earlier to get the extra hour or two of work in before you have to go go through your day and do your normal work. So your sacrifice is going to come in many ways. You may lose some sleep at night. You may not be able to go out as much as you like or enjoy luxuries of life. Well, neither one of us, none, none of us can do that right now with the pandemic, but you know what I mean? You may not always be able to, um, be around everyone that you want to be around because you may have to study and you may have to protect your energy a little more so that you can be in the mindset of a leader to bring in what you need from this project that you're going to be investing your time into. What else is going on? Your throat chakra. So you got something you need to say. So as this relates to your money, and this is all about it's not necessarily about saying things that are hurtful or bad, but the throat chakra is about communication, sound, creativity, and your inner hearing. So this is you speaking life into your finances. You speaking life into your creative endeavor. You speaking life out loud. So when you, oh, this is this is so great. When you become the leader as you go into 2021 you're gonna have to speak up you're gonna have to talk and this is gonna bring you wealth because people are gonna want to know well how do you know all this knowledge how do you have all this wisdom that's where your teaching comes in you as a leader you're definitely going to be in a teacher's aspect or a mentor or in a teaching mode so your throat chakra is definitely going to bring value to your finances your throat chakra is going to uh that's the way you going to be able to make your money using your throat chakra along with your inner knowing which those two go together that's going to bring your financial abundance into you by stepping up and being the leader and taking the lead and making the sacrifices necessary and also allowing them to learn from you in whatever way that you have your plan set up and using your inner knowing as to which way you want to take everything with your projects and your um, things at work that you're going to be stepping up to do, that's going to bring you financial success. One more card. Disconnect and boredom. We talked about, we just talked about this because this kind of goes along with the sacrifice. When being a leader, sometimes you are by yourself, unfortunately. But it's not a, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You have to sacrifice the playtime and the freedom that you would normally have for the greater reward at the end, which is you giving to the community that is going to be following you and being an expert at what you do to draw in the manifestation that you want for your finances. You're going to have to disconnect from the world. You're going to have to sit down, put your head down and have your, you're going to have to plan. You're going to have to prepare and then you're going to have to execute the purpose of this creative or professional endeavor that's going to bring you wealth. Okay. Creative or professional or loving because we talked about that at the beginning. There are many ways to be a leader, and it's not just through professionalism or being an entrepreneur. 
you can lead in many ways. You have to figure out the leader in you. What I'm getting for this group is so many different types of Scorpios that I'm getting messages for. So I'm just including the top three that's coming across really, really strong. And it is professionalism, being an entrepreneur or creative, and also um, being showing it through love, being a leader through love. Being a leader through love, I, I kind of feel like that's hard <laughs> because that's loving people even when they don't love themselves. And that's showing unconditional love even when the person doesn't show it to you. That doesn't mean be a doormat. That just means you're uplifting those around you. Okay. Woo, so Scorpio, your leadership role, I, I kind of feel the energy of... Ooh, I got a lot to think about. I got a lot to to evaluate. So, yeah, it's time for you to get out your journal, your pen and paper, and it's time for you to write down your plan so you can get prepared for the task at hand to execute this purpose and to get ready for these new changes in your love life. You're going to have to learn a balance in between the two as well. No, I needed to say that, but I feel like you're going to have to figure out um, a way to balance the two. The love and the career. Okay. So I'm going to pull one of my surrender cards to see what you need to do to keep a peace of mind in between balancing everything for 2021. Okay. That came out quick. <laughs> I almost didn't take it, but something is telling me to take it. It says surrender denial. Mm, accept people. In situations exactly as they are, without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. Okay, leader. I'm just going to call y'all a leader because this is definitely a leadership trait. You have to assess the situation without, without denying what's going on. So you have to accept the truth. So now going into 2020, one thing that you will do to keep your peace of mind and, and to keep you sane and to keep your higher consciousness aware is accept the truth. So you have to accept the truth of any situation that may come your way so that you as being a leader, you can problem solve more efficiently, which is definitely a leader trait. Problem solving more efficiently by not being in denial and accepting the truth for what it is. Whether that's people, situations, anything in your life. It's accept the truth. Okay. Whew. So, let's get... What's going to be the gift for, for my Scorpios accepting their truth? What's going to be the gift for my Scorpios accepting their truth around them? Let's get the gift for my Scorpios accepting their truth. We got two. These are definitely Scorpio traits. Um, gifts are you're going to have more opportunities to be spontaneous so you're going to enjoy your life you're going to be enjoying your life you're going to have more opportunities to be spontaneous and to enjoy life okay this is such a pretty car i love these mermaid cars for some reason these are really gorgeous so you're going to have the opportunity of being able to enjoy your life more being able to do the things that you would like to do because you have put all of this work in. And also you got solitude. So sometimes you're going to have to take a step back and reevaluate everything and make sure that you're on the right path, that you continue your journey well so that as you being a leader, you going into new love, that you'll be able to lead the proper way. Okay, we're just going to get... Two archetype cards or some characteristics that you already possessed or maybe one one or two of these we'll see how it goes 
of characteristics that you possess. We know that you're a leader. We're going to dig a little deeper and see if we can get a little more information to make you aware of this characteristic or to just refresh your memory. Maybe you forgot that you possess these skills. So this is to give you encouragement to step into this leadership role that you're going to have to step into because you don't got that long <laughs> to do this. Okay. You got to step into this leadership role. So let's get an archetype card for my Scorpios that they need to use for 2021 for their leadership that they're going to step into for this new love. Okay. Oh, we did get two. <laughs> I said we'll try for one, but two did come out. So let's work with it. We have Shape Shifter. First one, skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to see potential in everything. So this is definitely you being the leader and the mentor. You're going to guide people through life and allow them and help them to use their higher self so that they will be able to see the potential in themselves. So you're able to change with time. You're able to see different levels of consciousness as being a leader so that when these people come to you, you'll see their potential right away. And then you as a leader, outside of whatever you're teaching them, you're going to navigate them through so that they will be able to see the potential in themselves and use and use that to their advantage. Okay. And I believe this, this characteristic goes with your financial side and your professionalism, creative endeavor, or just life in general. This one says he does. And this one is inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life celebrates the beauty in yourself so i think these are kind of interchangeable but we don't necessarily have to put these in a category these are just beautiful characteristics about yourself that you need to take over into 2021 so this creative energy that you have it's it's more or less i believe this is Directing it to the change in your love life, being more creative, being more happy, loving yourself first, because you're going to raise your standard and stand your ground on this new person that's coming into you and loving yourself first and knowing that you are worthy of this new, good, fresh, honest love that's coming into your life. Okay, Scorpio. So we got some we got some good cards here. You got a lot of abundance coming in. You're stepping into your leadership role, which is going to provide you the stability that you manifested into your life. It's going to provide you great abundance in many ways, not just financially, but also it's going to provide you stability in your love life as well to bring in the soulmate that you are waiting for. All right. Thank you for coming by to get your 2021 Glow Up New Year reading. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And until next time, let intuition be your guide.